Hi, here we are, TechCrunch50. Um, can you say who you are? I am Blonde 2.0. Of Is course. that like the who the hell are you? Yeah. Like the, yeah, the Scoble <laughs> thing? Yeah, 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 who the hell are you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and last time we chatted was in Israel in April, so tell right. us uh, what's been going on since then in your world. Um, well, since we chatted last time, uh, things are going great. Um, I hired another uh, employee to Blind 2.0, which I'm very happy about. Her name is Megan, and she's and, blonde. Uh, and she's blonde. Okay. And um, as I told you, that was a that was my main requirement. Other than that, I wasn't really looking for anything. Um, <laughs> no, she she's really great, and um, she's learning very fast about the social media world. And I got her digging and tweeting, and uh, I actually promoted her a couple of times on my blog already. And uh, I think people are starting to. to get to know her and get to know her name. She just told me the other day she had 101 people following her on Twitter and she feels like a rock star, so, so that's good. Um, and I've also been working with a few interesting clients. Um, one is called I Do Moo, uh, kind of a funny name, and it's not a uh, social network for cows. It's, um, it's, a, social <laughs> it's a video collaboration tool. Um, can't really specify right now exactly what they do, but um, they're launching very, very soon. They're launching their alpha very soon, and then uh, you can be sure to be to see it everywhere. Um, and I've also actually been working with bigger companies currently in uh, trying to help them recruit employees through social networks, which is uh, something different than what I've done in the past. Obviously, I've been more focused on uh, promoting uh, uh, specific products, and so recruiting employees is kind of a you know a different strategy, and um, it's working out really really well. Uh, we're finding great candidates, um, and perhaps this was the wave of the future. And we won't need uh, you know uh, how do you call them? And, you know the the human resources uh, uh, recruiters anymore. Um, and um, what else has been going on? I've just been, you know, keeping busy. I'm currently, right now, in TechCrunch 50, enjoying the uh, conference, seeing lots of uh, interesting stuff. Um, you know, some companies I've seen here have said, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe you should think a little more about your revenue model. Um, I just saw a uh, startup um, that's focused on uh, uh, social networking for bird lovers, which. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. But <laughs> or another one for dead people. Yeah, or one thing? for dead people, exactly. Right. Um, but there are a few um, that I like. Um, and uh, getting to meet a lot of the... What, what I like the most about this is the fact that I'm getting to meet a lot of my virtual online friends uh, for the first time, like uh, Chris Ewer, um, who you know, I've spoken to and, and been friends with for such a long time and uh, online. And uh, yesterday was actually the first time I ever met him in person and I was really uh, excited about that. And we saw each other and it was like, wow, you know? Yeah, nice. it, was like, it was like we've been friends forever, actually. Um, <laughs> my friend was telling me that he thought we, we, you know, we spent childhood together, that it seemed that close. So um, I'm really happy to just you know and get to see you, JD, again, and uh, Renee and Deb and all you guys um, who came to Israel last time, and um, you know just explaining to people a little bit about Blonde 2.0 here and what I do. Right. And um, well, last time we were together, we were in Israel and, and right. talking about the tech and social media space we're seeing there. How does the tech scene at this conference compare? Well, everything here is, of course, on a larger scale. I mean, everything is just, there's just more of everything. Um, I think that in Israel, it's a little bit different. Well, it's a lot different because there are fewer people. So, you know, all, all the events, it's usually the same people. So I'm really glad to come here to a conference and meet you know, everybody's new to me, and that's exciting, and that's something that, you know, we don't get much in Israel, because if you've been in the industry for a while, you see the same people over and over and over again. So, uh, it gets a little... Right. <laughs> so here, you know, you're meeting new people, and not people just from the U.S., but people from all over the world, uh, from, uh, you know, I met uh, Plista today, 
uh, from uh, Germany. Um, met some guys from Turkey yesterday. I forget the name of their startup. So it's good to see people from all over. Um, and uh, it's refreshing, you know. It's really, it's really fun. Everything is also on a larger scale. That's also the uh, the events, uh, you know, uh, in the evenings. Um, I understand that eight of the companies here at TechCrunch 50 are from Israel. Um, seven, actually. Seven or eight, yeah. Tell tell me what your impression is of, of some of those. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, Junga um, is probably my favorite. Um, they um, offer an interesting uh, solution to um, basically instead of having like a, a Google search bar um, on you know just a, a boring search bar on your a blog or website, they offer um, a different sort of way for uh, for instance publishers. Like I'll, I'll give you an example for instance travel sites um, can um, put in like create their own toolbar sort of of other websites that offer you know similar services and then uh, if you're looking for a, a flight somewhere um, they'll let you use their toolbar and sort of compare prices between the you know kayak and Travelocity and uh, Expedia um, and I think what they're doing is really really interesting um, you know there are a couple of uh, uh, other startups like um, Echo TV um, and they basically allow you for uh, more uh, Video, uh, video, you know, video, video conferences with your friends. Right. Um, so, but really, I, I, I tell you the truth, I'm a little bit disappointed uh, because I, I feel like a lot of these, the ideas that we're hearing um, are very similar to things that already exist. I would have liked to see some more uh, uniqueness. No, really. I mean, I know. Uh, you know, and I think I think also Scovo wrote about that about the fact that uh, he didn't really see anything that wowed him. He was saying that he's already tired of of uh, you know the tech scene because right now we're not really seeing too much innovation here. And uh, I've seen a few companies that I like, but uh, like People Browse that we were talking about before. Um, they come from Australia, and that's kind of interesting. That's like a, a wiki for people. Um, but um, not very many that sort of, you know, caught my eye and I said, wow, you know, that's something totally different, something that, you know, I don't have right now already. Right. Okay. Um, and what are you up to next after this? Where do you go or what are you uh, not focusing on? Well, no, after this I'm, I'm going back to Israel, obviously, and um, I'm going to sort of try to uh, use some of these tools to see how I can help my clients. Um, some of these tools may help them, you know, in, uh, in their, uh, you know, perhaps partnerships or, or stuff like that. So I think that I'm going to, there are a few companies here that I, I found that had uh, services that could be uh, perhaps interesting to partner with. Um, and uh, so I'm going to be checking those out. Um, I got a lot of invitations for like uh, private, uh, um, you know, private betas, which I'm gonna, you know, I'm excited to check out also. But as I said, only a ver you know, quite a few that uh, that really, really interested me. Right. Okay. Well, um, thanks for your time, and good to see you again, Ireland. You too.